good day in today's episode of art book reviews we're going to be doing a bit of first and multiple ways this will be the first of the udon art books if you ask my opinion i think they do far better art books than dark horse also is the first non video game art book we're doing technically yu gi has had quite a lot of video games but you know it's an anime and card game manga first before it'll be video game um so this is a tier one art book it's a picture book um we have they've done an outstanding job with this beautiful uh, outer text dialed cover i guess there's a traffic in the word there um absolutely beautiful uh, this was a £30, this cost me, I don't actually know, it cost me £25 actually, um, and it's about $40, it is roughly still the same price, you can still pick this up brand new, um, the question is, would you? Uh, so, this is obviously for a while ago, and specifically this is art for card, it tells you here, um, are cards from which uh, all real life artwork cards which featured in the original 224 episodes of Yu Gi Oh! Can't believe there's that many, and the original 12 capsule monster episodes. And they're, and they're done alphabetically. They've also got some alternate art pieces for like that magician and whatnot. Unfortunately for me, as much as I love that, the artworks are not that drastically bigger than um, a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm just trying to find the Yu-Gi-Oh card at hand. Ugh. What a black rose. Um, so although we're getting a bigger picture um, by a significant margin, I guess, it's still not that big. Um, the the fact is, so I've I've seen various of these artworks online, and the actual picture blows up to like this, so you can get a full one on the full page of this easily. Um, at least with some of the artworks, I know that. So having them still in quite a small size. It's a bit annoying. It's, it's good to get them at a bigger size so you can appreciate them more. But I'd love to have them bigger. Just because you still don't get as much detail in these. Um, also, annoyingly, these are all the uh, censored artworks of them. And none of them are the original ones. Which irks me a bit. Yu-Gi-Oh is so daft with how much it censors artwork. Just unnecessarily so. So it's a bit of a shame. I mean the details we get is just the English and Japanese name and which duelist used it. It's a shame that we do not get... Um, you know, the artist who actually created these, you know, that would be a nice little thing, but you have to got the space for it, you could put the artist, but the problem is, I guess, because it's the sense of that work, you got the original artist and whoever tweaked it, which then the original artist might not be too pleased with their name being put on the, um, uh, uh, on here because it's not their version of the artwork. Ah, oh, that this picture has a lot holds a lot, holds a lot of detail uh, importance for me because I only got into manga because my mum on for my for Christmas I think it was saw the first ever issue Monthly Shonen Jump when it first came out and this was attached to it and she bought it purely because of this card so she knew because she knew I like Yu-Gi-Oh and that first purchase of the first ever Monthly Shonen Jump. I started to get into buying more of these monthly show and jumps and eventually started to get into manga. So, 
nice to see that. I would have still loved like a full size picture of him. But, you know, as a big trading card guy, I play a lot of trading, different trading cards games, Yu Gi Oh! being one of them. It's nice to get more artwork of Yu Gi Oh! Because um, for some reason, Konami doesn't like releasing merchandise for Yu Gi Oh! very often, especially in outside Japan. It's good to see that we do get some of the alternate arts which were available at the time. Now, quite a lot of these have had other alternate arts since then. Um, hmm. Like I say, it's, it's, it's nice. I would. That we've got even the obscure people. Like this. I don't even remember that. Joy Steps. Oh, blame it. Joy Steps. Let's have a dance off. Um. That's a different way to do this. Animation. Oh, right, yeah. So they do say if the animation. Uh, the anime name was different, which is interesting. Uh, let's see the additional artwork. So you've got a big original blue eyes there. Got the a couple of these other guys here. <laughs> Happily, but it's the, the key art, but it's the sensitive one. That's not a, that's not a, that's a sensitive version. That magician guild though. I don't think so. Probably. Um. And that's it. I guess it's nice that we got some of these important ones as a bigger version. But I would have loved the original ones. So something I would have to pick up at some point, although... I've got a good run about what I'm stuck on. Um, would be this. But from... It's only available in Japan, this dual art. Definitely to pick up that, because that has all the concept at uh, the sketches and whatnot in it. Uh, but it'll probably cost a pretty penny these days. So <laughs> similarities of people living the dead. <laughs> One of monsters. <laughs> so the question is Is it worth getting? Well, considering the fact that you can easily pick it up for twenty five. It's probably not that bad for twenty five if you are a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan, then clearly it's a must. It's a shame that we're not getting the uncensored version. I did have a look. If they had a Japanese version of this, I couldn't find a Japanese version of this. I, this might be a, a Western exclusive. If there is a Japanese version, I'll have to try and get it so I can have the original artworks. Because that'd be, that's what... I'm, I don't like censorship of that. So the fact that these are all the censored version is a little bit annoying. Um, but I guess that was a given because then it's the Western version of the art book, or at least the only version of the art book. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm still happy with this purchase, even, even though I've got the gripes. Um, still getting slightly bigger versions of some of these cards is really nice. Um, I'm surprised they haven't done any sequel ones, like, you know, all the GX ones, or all the 5D ones, or stuff like that. It, it's a bit weird that they only did this one, and that's it. But, you could definitely do far worse. Um, for an art book, especially a picture book, is a good as a as a picture book is quite good. So that's that. Until next time, goodbye.